On this channel, we talk about screening for prostate cancer, but in today's video, we're gonna talk about screening for other diseases that can possibly be prevented if caught early. Things like heart disease, lung, colon. So today we're sitting down with Dr. Mark Scholes. He's a 30 year medical oncologist who is focused solely in prostate cancer, and he's treated thousands of prostate cancer patients. And these are the other screening tests that he has his patients take. So in a lot of our videos, Dr. Scholz, we talk about screening, and a lot of times we talk about PSA screening primarily, but today we're gonna to talk about screening for other things besides prostate cancer that are far more common in men's health and very important to take a look at. So let's just start with, with heart health. You know, I don't think a lot of men realize how important it is to get their heart checked and how honestly easy and cheap it is for a $150 CT scan. So can you speak to the importance of this and why prostate cancer patients need to pay attention? To this. Well, this became an issue in my practice when uh, my old partner, Dr. Strum, and I decided to specialize exclusively in prostate cancer. We were doing general oncology. And our whole world, our whole milieu changed because prostate cancer is a much more low key situation than general oncology, where you're, you're treating pancreas cancers and brain cancers and imminently life threatening conditions. And after being in the prostate realm for a while, we noticed this incredible calmness and, we, and the, the tools that we had to bring to bear were so effective that prostate cancer mortality was actually lower than the chances of our typical patient, you know, a 60, 70 year old man dying of an unexpected heart attack. This often gets shuffled to the sidelines uh, when people go to the doctor, they, they go to get problems solved. But we were so used to having serious egregious cancers, and that uh, led us to an awareness of a type of scan where they can do a five-minute CT of your coronary arteries. We started doing this over 20 years ago, and detect how much plaque is present on your coronary arteries, and then profile you compared to other men your age. So do you have the same amount of plaque as another 60-year-old man, or more plaque, or less plaque? Of course, when you think about it, any plaque is not good. Cardiac disease is number one cause of death. So why CT scans rather than, say, getting a stress test, which is a historical test for um, symptomatic heart disease, where they put you on a treadmill and run you real fast, and they see if the cardiac muscular wall is starved of oxygen. And that leads to changes on the EKG and the echocardiogram. And unfortunately, that test, the stress test, only detects advanced coronary artery disease. CT scan of the coronary arteries, on the other hand, can pick up the earliest stages of plaque and allow people who are motivated, and our prostate cancer patients are highly motivated to preserve health and enhance longevity, allow these patients to incorporate better diet, lifestyle, um, sometimes intervention with a cardiologist, perhaps uh, medications to lower cholesterol and whatnot. Uh, before some sort of a tragedy happens that could have been prevented. So when we're talking about $150 for this CT scan, you know, are we talking about um, on top of insurance? Does insurance normally cover this as preventative, or is this something that people pay for out of pocket as a preventative measure to make sure that they're getting this checked out? So insurances vary. Uh, some of them will cover preventative type implemented scans and whatnot, but most don't. Most uh, insurances are set up to fix an existing problem, and here we're looking for a new problem. So oftentimes it would involve uh, out-of-pocket costs. And what type of doctor do patients need to go to to get this? Can they go to their family doctor and get a referral? Do they need to seek out a cardiologist? Certainly a family doctor can order it. People can even call an imaging center directly. I'm not entirely sure you need a prescription. You can say that you'd like to get a CAT scan for coronary calcium score. I've seen prices well under $150, but I think that if you run into charges above that, you can probably negotiate them down. Uh, that's sort of the top of uh, what the going rates have been in my experience. Before I get to my next question, I just wanted to remind you that we have an in-person prostate cancer patients and caregivers conference coming up in September, and we would love to see you there. You can learn more at pcri.org forward slash conference. Now, if you would like to support us financially, you can do so at pcri.org forward slash donate. And if you would like to support our channel, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button because we come out with new videos every week. Now back to my conversation with Dr. Schultz. 
So moving on from heart, now we're gonna talk about lung. And it's really important that men get this type of screening because it's it's interesting when it comes to prostate cancer, it's so slow growing in most cases that it's not a, uh, it's an issue, but it's like a chronic disease. But when we see heart issues and now things that can happen in the lungs or in the colon, those are much more serious types of cancer. So can you talk about getting screened for lung cancer? All right, we normally think of only screening people for lung cancer who have a history of smoking. It is true that lung cancer uh, occurs maybe in 20 to 25 percent of the time in people who uh, have not been smokers. And it's not clear if this is a secondary smoke phenomenon or just part of the frailty of the human condition. But uh, the same type of CAT scan can be uh, done to look at the lungs for any early stage nodules. And uh, this is very revolutionary technology because lung cancer, when it is detected because of a cough or blood in the sputum or some symptom, almost invariably is fatal at that point. We don't have treatments that can pull people back from these more advanced stages. But if lung cancer is detected when there's a small nodule on a CAT scan and a chest x-ray is not good enough, it really takes a CAT scan to detect the smaller spots at that juncture when the disease is still curable. And those little spots can be surgically removed or radiated, and lung cancer can be cured. So this is an essential type of screening. Think of getting a scan once a year. And anyone who is an active smoker, or if someone was an active smoker and has quit within the last 10 years. After about 10 years, your body re-equilibrates, and your risk of lung cancer after being off smoking for 10 years is reduced substantially and probably not necessary to continue screening beyond 10 years after you quit smoking. Is it that same question, you know, is insurance going to cover this or is there something that they just need to pay out of pocket for? I would say it's an out of pocket expense for screening in most cases. Uh, sometimes people have other reasons to get scans. We've uh, picked up early stage lung cancers and people getting PSMA PET scans for uh, staging for prostate cancer because they do a CAT scan at the same time that they do the PSMA PET scan but uh, it is technically a screening exam and therefore would incur a charge. And their primary care physician can order? Certainly. And as I mentioned before, imaging centers, um, they don't mind taking your money, so they probably wouldn't necessarily uh, dictate that you have to have a prescription if you just ask for a CT scan of the lung without contrast uh, for uh, lung cancer screening. Now I know, you know, we talk to a primarily older audience usually because prostate cancer is an older man's disease, but when it comes to heart and when it comes to lung, when would you need to start those screening processes? Well, anyone that's been smoking for more than 10 years in terms of lung scans. Uh, for heart scans, I think it, it would be prudent to get a baseline scan when you turn 40. Uh, men can get heart disease pretty young and you're not going to know about it unless you get the scan and see if there's a, an accumulation of plaque. So moving on to colon cancer, this is something that we hear about in prostate because we hear about the BRCA mutation and it covers prostate and colon and breast and, and we want to encourage men to uh, make sure that they're getting BRCA testing but also getting checked for colon cancer. So does if somebody has prostate cancer, do they need to get checked for colon immediately? Is this an automatic process or are they two separate things? Well, the usual policy is for people to have some sort of screening for colon cancer here in the United States uh, when they turn 50. Historically, that's been a colonoscopy on a screening basis to have that repeated every five to seven to 10 years, depending on what the risk profile is. There is a new test called Coligard. It's a assay of a stool that is not quite as accurate as a colonoscopy, but certainly a lot more convenient and fairly accurate. This is typically covered by most insurances as are colonoscopies. Our lifetime risk in the United States of dying of colon cancer, if you don't screen for it, is about 3%. This is a preventable disaster. With appropriate screening, we should be able to almost eliminate the risk of dying of colon cancer. When it comes to getting tested for Colergard, do you see that this is typically covered by insurance? It is, yes. At least for the Medicare age population, it's routinely covered. And if you look at the accuracy between Colergard versus a colonoscopy, what type of discrepancy is there between the two? I'm not sure of the exact statistics, but my understanding is it's probably about 80 to 90 percent as accurate as a colonoscopy. The Colergard is repeated every three years rather than the colonoscopy, which is every five to seven years. It's certainly an upgrade in convenience, 
So patients will just have to have a conversation with their physician and decide if they're comfortable for going the, the, the greatest precision, which comes with a colonoscopy. So in your practice, you're seeing thousands of prostate cancer patients, and you're you know, making sure that they're getting checked for the previous things that we talked about. Is there anything else that you just have them double check and make sure that you know, comes to the top of your mind that this is an important thing for any man to get, you know, take a look at and make sure that they're talking to their doctor about? Well, one thing we push pretty hard is uh, vaccinations against shingles, so-called Shingrix vaccines. People are often aw unaware that shingles has a, there's a subtype of shingles in certain individuals where it never goes away for the rest of your life. And this can be so crippling. I actually had a close friend who died in chronic pain uh, and all the more painful because he knew he should have gotten a vaccine and didn't. And this vaccination is highly effective and almost completely eliminates the risk of getting shingles. People are a little concerned because it can make you feel a little tired for a day and you do have to do two vaccines, but uh, it is typically covered by insurance. I mention it to all my patients who are over age 50, 55, that uh, they might want to consider getting vaccinated. When it comes to Shingrex, are you getting it every year, every 10 years? It's for life. What about anything when it comes to the eyes and glaucoma? Probably the last thing we'll talk about today is in terms of routine maintenance for our aging bodies. Glaucoma is augmented eye pressure, and it's a silent process that can cause irreversible destruction to your vision uh, if it isn't detected and treated. These little pressure tests that the eye doctor does when you see him uh, are so simple, but if people aren't going to see the eye doctor, some of us get older, we don't need glasses, we're not visiting the eye doctor on a routine basis, and we're not getting that annual check. Patients uh, should get checked once a year because, it, again, it's a treatable condition, but if left untreated, can cause irreversible uh, visual problems. I know going to get an annual physical or getting checked for these other types of cancers can be kind of an arduous process and even cause anxiety because you're getting checked for something that, you know, you don't want to be a problem. But I promise you, it's so important to get checked early and it's important to make sure that you're having these conversations with your doctor. I think a lot of prostate cancer patients think about their prostate. They think about their prostate cancer. They think about their treatments. But a lot of times, it's important to pay attention to these other things that you need to get screened for. And it can prevent a a lot of heartache, a lot of uh, decision making, a lot of time. It can save you time overall because you're, you know, doing your due diligence, you're putting your health first, getting these things checked so that they do not become bigger problems in the future. Now it's a lot to remember, get your heart checked, you know, go check your blood panels, all these different things. So we created a checklist that you can go ahead and take with you to your doctor's appointments and you could just sit there and go, okay, have I gotten checked for my eyes with glaucoma? Have I gotten these types of scans? You know, and that checklist is just really helpful to make sure that you remember all of it and it's something that we encourage patients to do uh, with their doctor so that they continue to have those conversations and those open dialogues you know you talk about family history you talk about previous incidences of any sort of health risks that you've had all of those factors just really help bring the conversation forward to make sure that you're taking care of your health and you know we're preventing as much as possible. You already have a lot to deal with, you know, when it comes to prostate cancer and checking PSA and all of that. So the more we know ahead of time and the more we're getting screened, the better. Now, if you would like more information about any of the conversation that I had with Dr. Schultz today, you can contact our helpline at pcri.org forward slash helpline. These are prostate cancer patients who also go get screened for all of these types of exams and physicals that they go get done. And it's important that you can, you know, just ask your questions. And if you have anything in regards to that, they can answer them for you and just give you information to talk to your doctor and make sure that we are, you know, advocating for yourself through that process. And if you would like more information about anything when it comes to prostate cancer, subscribe to this channel, check out our website at pcri.org. Please remember, you're not alone, and I hope you have a great week.